there we go. This is the distiller that I've been dreaming about for a long time. It is of course the fabulous and amazing Turbo 500. There was this amazing guy who's a good friend of mine who saw what I was doing here on the Get Me Off Grid video blog and decided he would try and help out. And he's uh, very kindly donated some money so that I could do some excellent biofuel experiments and use this amazing device to be able to do so. This is the this is the thing which is going to really, really help an awful lot. Uh, the wash goes in there, it boils, steam rises up the column. Any uh, more dense liquids, like, such as water, will fall down. But the more, uh, you know, more volatile liquids will then end up rising even further and will then get condensed down here. And then out of that tube there will come very high quality bioethanol, which I'll then be able to use for combustion, uh, for boiling water, for heating the place, for cooking, okay, as well as for killing germs and doing all kinds of other hygienic cool things. Uh, so, you know, we got a water input and output tubes there, which is great. And those two blocks there, those are thermometers. If you get the temperature just right, you can you know, get the purity right. So there's like a thin needle valve which you can use to fine tune the quantity of water which comes out of the, uh, or sorry, that goes through the still to, condi to cool the water. Yes, it plugs into a tap. That's not a good thing. All right, I want to have an off-grid still, so I'm going to have to modify this wonderful device. So that'll it, there'll be a fixed reservoir of water, and there'll be a cooling system for it. Okay, and a small low wattage pump, and you'll be able to power. I'll be able to power the small low wattage pump via st stored solar energy. That's the idea. Now, as far as boiling is concerned, that's going to pre present a challenge for off-grid at the moment. It's got a mains plug. Mains plugs are evil. Okay, but it's got a mains plug. So now I've got the column with like thermometers and all the rest of that in place uh, I need to find another way, another thing to put in another variety of boiling container and another heat source. That's going to be a challenge but I think it's going to be doable uh, so long as I try my hardest to you know, keep it safe because the stuff which is going to come out of that tube there is going to be very near the octane value of gasoline okay so I'm going to have to be careful if I'm going to use a naked flame, for instance. But I still believe there will, there will be a way of doing this. So, you know, I'm, I'm one step closer. This is, uh, I'm sure you can see how the whole project is starting to kick in. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much to my donor out there for, you know, providing me with the extra funds that I needed to be able to get this in place. And um, I'm looking forward to making some bioethanol and some bioethanol gel and all kinds of other cool things with this stuff. So thank you very much indeed for your help. God bless.